Greetings and welcome to my Wednesday ramblings. The scene that is uh, behind me today is a photo that I took just uh, a few moments ago. It's looking out from my front steps here at Kingston towards the River Derwent. And you can see the a little bit of the river just over my uh, shoulder. And uh, unfortunately, there's lots of trees that get in the way. But the scene is just quite extraordinary, quite wonderful. And so I just thought telling you what it's like in Tassie at the moment in summer um, would give you a bit of an idea of just how wonderful this country is. This weekend, we start a new message series. The title is uh, I've given is uh, Living Word. I was tossing up with uh, a new uh, a new teaching because we're entering into the Beatitudes, the Sermon on the Mount. Unfortunately, we've only got a few weeks of this series um, because we come up to um, the season of Lent in just four weeks' time. Two of those weeks, I'm not going to be preaching uh, to my congregation. So there will be, however, my podcast will be available um, I'll be doing the first two weeks, and then on the third week, I will be in Sydney for Divine Renovation, and the fourth week is um, Project Compassion Sunday, and our deacon, Deacon Mick Smith, is the Diocesan Director for Caritas, the people who uh, organise and um, coordinate Project Compassion, so he'll be launching Project Compassion on that Sunday. So while I may not be preaching to my community, there will in fact still be um, these uh, words, these uh, opportunities for people to, to know and uh, experience uh, my homily. We're starting off the first weekend with the Beatitudes. We know that Jesus came to tell about the coming kingdom of God. And he speaks about what are the, uh, the signs that people are really understanding what the kingdom of God is about. It's not about power and prestige it's not about authority but it's rather the poor in spirit the peacemakers those who are pure of heart a totally different concept to what had been um, the norm for people up until that time so the living word came into their midst and changed them in fact it goes back to that passage from hebrews which says the word this word is like a sword that double-edged sword that goes straight through to the heart so today, as uh, we get ready for this weekend, the first Sunday of our new series, I'd like to hope that we will listen to the word of God, not with the ears of, I've heard this before, but rather with new ears to hear God speak to us and invite us to be totally different people looking for a totally different way of hearing God's word, the living word. God bless you. Have a great week and I hope wherever you are, it's as nice and as warm and as sunny as it is here in Kingston today. God bless.